when you have an online store with Equid, one of the obvious questions is, well, how do I get paid? Equid doesn't handle payments directly, so you'll need to use a payment provider in your store to accept online transactions. I'm here in my Equid store under configuration and payment, and Equid supports over 50 payment providers from around the world to help get you paid. Payment providers will vary based on your geographical location. I'm in the United States, so this screen could look a little different depending on where you're located. The top three we recommend are Stripe, Square, and PayPal. If you don't see your provider here on the list anywhere, scroll down to the very bottom and click on Choose Payment Processor. You'll see a list of all of the payment processors that are currently supported globally by Equid. You can even integrate a payment processor that may not be included, such as a local one, via the Equid Payment API. Connecting to a payment processor is simple. You'll need your own account at any of these processing companies in order to connect it to your Equid store. If I click Connect with Stripe, it's going to ask me to connect my Stripe account with Equid. If you don't have an account with Stripe, no worries. You're able to create one and then add it to your Equid store. It's as simple now as clicking Connect My Stripe Account. I'll be redirected back to my store where all of the information about my now connected account is available. Clicking on the back button, of course, I can continue to set up different payment methods depending on how my store is configured. Now there's a number of things to consider. Number one, Equid does not handle payments directly. As I mentioned, you'll set up an account with each one of these payment processors in order to accept credit card and debit card payments. Number two, these payment processors do charge transaction fees to process your payments. Number three, Equid does not charge any additional transaction fees since we don't handle the payments directly. Number four, the payment provider availability depends on where you are in the world. Some of the providers may or may not be available in your country. Number five, you'll want to make sure that the payment provider you select supports your kind of business, the products or services you sell. For instance, Square doesn't allow you to sell guns in your online store. And finally, Equid does not store any credit card information that your customers input. This is all managed, again, by the payment processor you select. So far, we've covered credit cards. And of course, there are other payment methods you might want to look at, such as cash on delivery, bank transfers, purchase orders, and checks. You can set those up here by clicking on Add a Manual Payment Method. Once you've set up your payment method in Equid, customers will see an option to pay on checkout. If I click Checkout and continue through the process, you'll see that the customer is able to pay via the processor that you've connected to your store. Once the payment goes through, you'll be able to check the status in your control panel to verify that everything went fine with the transaction. Of course, if you're using manual payments, you'll want to make sure you get paid before you ship your product. Additionally, if you need to process a refund or make a cancellation on a payment, you'll do that through the payment processor account not here in your Equid dashboard. Lastly, when someone pays for your product, the money is deposited into your payment processor account, and in turn, they will send you the funds less their processing fee based on the schedule that they've set up with you. So setting up payments in Equid is really simple. You'll select what payment type you offer, connect your payment account or add details for offline payments, and you'll be ready to get paid.